It is but one life, whether we spend it in laughing or in weeping. High up the mountain, where the coffee grows is an island within an island. A place where many Japanese came to work and live in pursuit of a new life. A young boy of mixed race was left an orphan when a foreign sickness struck the island. To protect that boy, his unwed mother had hid him from the small community of coffee pickers, who believed such children brought shame and bad luck. No one knew that the child existed. This terrible disease did not discriminate between race and class. Mr. Danielson, the plantation owner, was forever changed upon the passing of his beloved wife. On that very sad day, I became the guardian of Miss Grace. And so, two children from very different worlds were both left without their mothers. Hey, kid. Hey, shouldn't be near that body. It's not safe. Hey.
何してるの出て行けハーフボーイ A very good morning. Hey, take it easy with that stuff. It's fragile. Half. I sailed 2,500 miles at my own expense. I bounced all the way up this blasted mountain, and now you're telling me I'm only going to be making half of what was agreed upon in writing? I'd like to speak to Mr. Danielson. I'm his plantation foreman. I speak for him. Coffee market drives everything here. Right now, the, the whole mountain is in the middle of cutbacks. All right, when's the next boat leave for the mainland? A month. A month? about to spend everything I had getting here. Listen, we need a doctor. We've lost many to the plague, including Mrs. Danielson, just two days ago. How about I work in a housing arrangement and some store credit? All right. Look, just pay me what you can for the month, and I'll see if I can make do. If not, I take the next boat back. Uh, the accommodations aren't what you're used to. That's fine. Oh, no. Hold on. Hold on. This place is a dump. How am I supposed to get back to town? Dinsha. What? Dinsha.
Uma mala sala. Morning, Doc. Morning, Mayor. How you like the Kuna coffee? Mm, the coffee's fine. Not too happy with the stench of my new place. What's with that kid? I don't know. He just showed up out of nowhere. Ah, show, show some. Just, I know. Uchi no tsuma ga, mo yiki kuri shikete mo shirizo nan desu. Daijobu, Isha, kare Isha. Hotori? It's your lucky day. His wife is sick. Some of these folks, they need convincing when it comes to modern medicine. That's all right. I spent time in the Orient. こちらよ。大丈夫。もうお医者さん連れてきたよ。大丈夫か。聞こえるじゃん。ああ、その向かいで俺が怖いって殺したんだよ。She had an allergic reaction. What are you doing, boy? This is adrenaline. She needs it, or she's going to die. Boy, what are you doing, boy? Trust me, it's going to help her. It's not an option. But I'm not going to die. You idiot! You stupid fool! You, boy, come here, boy. You. Come on, I don't have time to play games. Come here. I need your help. Explain to this man that his wife is going to die if she doesn't get an injection. Hey, shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Come on, you can speak, can't you? Tell him. I got it. Another one like this. My house is the last one off the main road on the left-hand side. You can't miss it. There's a red fence in front. Got it? Bagu, my house. You understand? What the hell was I thinking? Run, boy. Got a boy. What the? Oh my God! Wait, you want to die too? It's all right, kid. I'm a doctor. I should do the trick. I can't have my first patient dying on me, can I? Okay. 
your name. Your name, so I don't know what to call you. Joseph? Just Joe. All right, Joe. All this mountain climbing is making me hungry. What do you say we go back to town and get something to eat? So, how did the first doctor go? Well, she's going to make it. That's good. Thanks to this little youngster right here. I see. Kid, why don't you tell us where you're from so we can help you? Up Malka, the mountain. Where's your parents? Mother, father? Mio, what's another? Mama. Mama. She lived alone high up in the mountains on the other side of the valley. She picked alone, was a bit of a recluse. We lost her to the plague. I didn't know she had a kid. She hid you all this time? But why would she do that? Because he's probably, because he's probably a bastard. Some fling with a howling, and now he's a half fool boy. Jabs thinks he brings shame to anyone they're near. I really wish people would stop using that word. Maybe some family in the mainland would take him. Let me guess. Boat leaves when? A month? All right, kid, come on. You can live with me. Hey, kid, you got anything up there worth keeping? There's nothing to worry about. The disease dies with the victim. Okay, kid. Let's go. Your mother? I have lost family. It's a terrible thing. But you gotta keep on going, right? I'll be outside. Take your time. Morning. Looks like the whole family's hard at work. You can call me Doc. And this is Joe. Hi, 
be sociable. Come on, kid. Morning. <clears throat> Hello. I'm the new doctor for the plantation. I wanted to take this opportunity to introduce myself. Translate, please. Ohio Gazaimasu. Louder. Louder. So they can hear you. Ohio Gazaimasu. Takai Tokoro Kara Sumimasen. I would uh, bow a proper Japanese introduction, but I have a bad back from the war. I barely tie my shoes in the morning. It's all right. Did you get it all out? Okay. Now, if any of you or your loved ones are sick or get hurt, you just see Joe and he'll come get me. Okay. Back to work. You know, Joe, you seem pretty smitten with the big man's pretty daughter. These girls get prettier and prettier. And uh, the prettier they get, the crazier they get. Yeah, that's right. They're crazy. Time flies like an arrow. As time passed, so did the disease that plagued our island. And under the guidance of Doc, a former outcast grew into a young man and a valuable member of our small community. A friendly rivalry grew between Taki, the driver, and Joe, the medicine runner. A daily event that the whole community looked forward to. Yeah. 
Each morning, Mr. Danielson's daughter, Grace, would watch from her window high up on the hill. It was on this day that a simple injury set in motion a series of events that would change our little town forever. consider selling up assets, starting from some of this machinery. The bank is losing patience. And who exactly would buy this machinery? We could sell the cinema. The cinema is a broken projector. Look, I'm not selling anything. You need to buy me some time. I don't care how you do it. What is it, Miss Hanabusa? Is Grace all right? Miss Grace has strained her ankle. I believe she should see the doctor. A trip to Hilo isn't exactly necessary for a sprained ankle. I mean, Dr. Lawrence, he could come to the house. Have I not made myself clear how I feel about that country doctor? Do you have any idea how many germs he must be carrying around treating all these people? Miss Grace also has a slight fever. Maybe just the ankle. A fever? Perhaps we can take certain precautions for the examination. Fine. Miss Grace has hurt her ankle. May the doctor please come examine me? Miss Grace? Well, uh, the doctor's left for Hilo on, on, on the train. He's picking up a pharmaceutical order. He, he's gonna be back in two days. I see. We will just have to wait until then. Wait. I am very qualified to tend to such emergencies. Doc has been training me for many years and has asked me to represent him while he's gone. Oh, okay. Really? <clears throat> okay. Um, I'm gonna go get my bag. Dr. Lawrence, you've clearly been told multiple times that the Racial integrity guidelines are in place to discourage interracial adoption. Now, that combined with the lack of any sort of birth certificate makes this a practically impossible case. Might I suggest you reach out to the Japanese consulate where they can help find parents for the boy you know, of his own kind? Listen, Gray. Sir, as you're well aware, I have been trying for years to adopt this kid, give him some sort of legal standing. I believe this young man has the makings of a physician. And I intend to do everything within my power to make that happen. Well, it's extremely unlikely, but I suppose we could appeal to the Child Welfare League in Honolulu. We'll have to cover the cost of the trip, my expenses, a fee to prioritize this case over everything else. It's going to be quite the tidy sum, Dr. Lawrence, and even then I cannot guarantee that they will give a favorable outcome or even review your case. This is everything I've got. Make it a priority.
Thank you for coming. Please wait here. No! She can't walk! I'm afraid it could cause further damage. The young man has been learning under Doc for years. Absolutely out of his place, and I don't even want him next time to sleep, let alone Grace's bedroom. Send that boy away! I'm sorry, but wait here. Due to the exceptional circumstances, I'm allowing limited access to see if you can bring some relief to my daughter's pain. be out of my mind. I have urgent business to attend to. Sir? Grace, please show our young doctor your ankle. That is all that is injured, and that is all you need to see. Uh, miss, could you put pressure on it? I don't think it's broken. It's, uh, yeah, I believe it's sprained. That is good to hear. Give a report back to Doc as soon as he returns. Thank you for your service, Joe. I will see you out. Bye. You're an assistant. You know very well not to treat anybody without me being present. And why is that? I think you jeopardize I your entire future. I mean, suppose something went wrong. And you did it with Danielson's daughter. Huh? What were you thinking? I leave town for a couple days. It was just a sprained ankle, Doc. I thought I was doing the right thing. Yeah, you thought you were doing the right thing. You thought you were ready. I didn't think you were ready. Evidently, Danielson doesn't think that you're ready. He sent word to Hilo. They're bringing in another doctor. Yeah, that's right. When are you going to learn to trust me? Out of my chair. When are you going to trust me? I still can't believe they let you in this place. They've never let me near this joint. I'm not sure if it's a rich Howley thing, but I got some pretty strange rules. Yeah, I'm sure they do. Look, let's just show them that you're a, well, you're, you're, you're a qualified assistant. Let me have a look at you. I'll give you a shirt. And then I'm a proper doctor. For the record, I'm still mad at you. Let's go.
Let's see the princess. Morning, Mrs. Danielson. Is uh, Mr. Danielson in? He is engaged elsewhere. I was given specific instructions, however. Oh, I see. What do we have here? Okay. So, young lady, how's that leg of yours? Well, my leg's doing a bit better, but now my stomach's not feeling too well. I see. <laughs> Mine too. Pardon me? Oh, um, nothing, Doc. Something going around, perhaps. Okay. How shall we proceed, then? Is it the stomach you wish to see, or...? I'm sorry, Mr. Danielson. But this just isn't practical. I understand. But please do hurry. Won't take but a jip. Now, let's have a look at that angle, Missy. Shall we? Sensitive. <laughs> yeah. It's nice work. How about, how does it feel when I do that? Still a bit painful. It's a sprain, all right. What about that secondary condition? How do you recommend we proceed, Joe? Well? Um, have you had any vomiting or di diarrhea? <laughs> no. Well, if you would, uh, hold out your wrist, miss, I, I, I'm gonna check your pulse. Uh, a little faster than normal. You know, uh, perhaps you should take the temperature. Um, yes, of course. Joe, is that better? Here it is. <laughs> <clears throat> so I will be placing this under uh, your tongue. That's all right with you. And now, uh, we've just got to wait a moment. Okay, that's long enough. Oh. <laughs> well, what's it say? Um, she has no temperature. Ah, uh, she, whoa, wow. No temperature. <laughs> Dead. <laughs> ah, no fever. What does she have? Probably just a bug or nerves. Nerves, huh? Well, is there anything that we can give her? Maybe we can give her some herbs, something like that. Basil. We can give her some basil. Um, uh, turn these basil leaves into a tea, and uh, if you've got it, add ginger root. It'll help with your stomach. Thank you, doctors. Uh, thank you. Uh, Miss Hannah Boos, I... I Keep that elevator. I will. Thank you, doctor. Uh, Joe will drop off some more herbs tomorrow. 
please do greet Mr. Danielson for us, would you? I will. Thank you, Eddie. Thank you. So, so what? How do you think you perform? Decisive? Confident? Fine, I guess. You were a babbling simple. Okay, that's not really fair, Doc. I saw the way you were looking at the girl, okay? The doctoring requires focus, emotional self-control, and discipline. You're not a kid anymore. After you drop off those herbs, meet me at the coffee mill. When you get to the house, ring the bell, hand the herbs to Miss Hannah Busa. Don't engage with any of the other family members and stay out of the house. You got it? Yeah, I got it. You got what? Ring the bell, hand the herbs to Miss Hannah Busa, and uh, I'll meet you at the coffee mill. Okay. And fix the hinges on that door. Danielson home is? Yeah, it's, it's, it's about a 30 minute walk that way. Pick up, I can't hear ya! It's about a 30 minute walk that way. <laughs> All right! Silly boy. No, for me it's not. Contraption. <laughs> no, 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 that won't be necessary. We have a real doctor here. Grace. This is Dr. Reyes. He recently moved to Hilo from the mainland. He's here to offer us a second opinion. Hello, Miss Grace. Why aren't you a true beauty? She is. <laughs> How may I be of service? Hmm? She should be fine with those pills. 
I would, however, like to check on her again. Of course. Why don't you stay for lunch? How generous of you. That would be lovely. Grace is lucky to have such a quality doctor. She certainly is. What's he doing? Good morning, Mr. Danielson. Miss Danielson. Doc asked me to come by and drop off some more herbs for Miss Grace. No, 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 that won't be necessary. Miss Grace is now under the care of a proper physician. You and the doc may take care of the uh, Orientals and the other laborers. Dr. Reyes will be taking care of the rest of us. Uh, it's up to me. Wonderful that you're staying. Great day. Mrs. Danielson? Oh, please do. Let's work up an appetite. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I don't like this for years. <laughs> for you. Thank you. <laughs> Come with me. It's okay. Joe. I'm Joe. Yeah, I know. I'm Grace. I know. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, uh, <laughs> Sorry. Um, you first. Okay. What's your favorite part of the island? Well, I uh, love to go up to the top of the mountain. <laughs> you should go. I'll go, but first, just uh, close your eyes. What is it? Full closure. Stupid man. I tried, sir. I did exactly as you told me to. Oh, I, I just have to. Uh, you, you enjoy oh, yeah. yourself. Oh. Yes. Miss Grace, what are you doing down here? Oh, um, I'm just getting a few flowers for my room. You invested all of my private savings and mortgaged my home. It is all gone now. I, I too am ruined. 
You are ruined. What do you even have to be ruined? Get out! <sighs> what is it, son? Everything okay? It's fine, Mother. I have to go to Hilo tomorrow to sort out an issue with the Mac. Do not patronize me. Tell me what the hell's going on. The bank is repossessed. The plantation, the businesses, the buildings in town, all of it. In 30 days. They're going to be cast out into the street. No, I put the house in Grace's name with Miss Hanabusa as her official guardian. Banks can't touch it. How could you let this happen? I can't control the world coffee market, Mother. I did what I had to do. And while you, you have been guzzling gin, I have been fighting every day to keep this plantation, this town, alive. Keep your voice down. Think what people will say. Surely, surely there's some way we can fix this. It would take a miracle. Oh, Nana. I beg your pardon. Bobby, come on, let's be. Grace, I'm delighted that you have made a full recovery. That's the magic of modern medicine. You look fantastic. When I was checking on you, I noticed that you fancy uh, fashion. So, I brought you something that I think you just might like. This is a fashion magazine. <laughs> Straight off the ship, from the mainland. Mr. Danielson? Goodness gracious. <laughs> it's a piece for you. <gasps> Thank you, Dr. Ray. Not at the table, Grace. You know, too generous, Doctor. Maybe one day she'll be able to visit the fashion capitals of the world like I have. Paris is simply... It's magical. <laughs> God, so silly. So, Danielson, how is business these days? Truth is, the Japanese independent farmers are driving down the price of coffee. Unbelievable. The damn lava rocks don't allow us to farm sugar up here. Thankfully, I've found ways to diversify, and the business couldn't be better. Why, that is. Good to hear. Speaking of diversifying, you should consider opening an office here on the Kona side. Expand your practice. You could work out of one of my buildings. That's a kind office, sir, but um, don't you already have a doctor here? Dr. Lawrence. Mm -hmm. Well, his country medicine works for our pinkers, but I see a real need for proper medical attention for the genteel folk. Thank you, sir. I just may take you up on it. Well, how about you stay another day, and I'll show you some options to consider. Only if I can come by for another visit to check on my most lovely patient. Oh, yes. Mm, please do, Doctor. <laughs> Such wonderful people. Boy, um, may I help you? Sorry, sir, it's just your motor car is something else. Yes, it is. Like, I, I tried racing you back there, but left me in the dust. That was you? Ah, you didn't even have a chance. I've run medicine for Doc all over this mountain, and I've 
I've never been beaten until you. Interesting. Perhaps you'd like to be on a winning team. And go for an evening ride. Nice, huh? What do you do about your patients that don't have roads? Well, all my patients have roads. It's the magic of modern medicine. It's best. Um, would, would, would you be willing to teach me? I, I could be your assistant. I'd work for free. I've been running for doc. For I don't even know how many years. Years, you say, huh? Well, I could use some help setting up the new office. Fetching supplies and such. Local knowledge could come in handy. Yeah, I, I could do all of that. Absolutely. Um, but I could also assist you in doctoring. I, I've treated Miss Grace Danielson three times now, and oh, I'm getting quite good at it. You say you treated Grace Danielson? Yeah, yeah. Well, the third time wasn't an official treatment. <laughs> Boy, do you have a crush on the Danielson's daughter? <laughs> mm. I'm as likely to work out as you out running this car. <laughs> All right. We will meet in the morning at the hotel. But first, you must drink up. Put some hair on your chest. Press the Daniels' the daughter. <laughs> ah! <laughs> supposed to be running medicine for me, now gallivanting with the competition. Well, he's offered to teach me modern techniques. Modern techniques? Why do you keep trying to stop me from doctoring? Are you drunk? Hmm? Or are you just stupid, or maybe both? The only thing I'm trying to keep is our jobs. Okay, I'm going to bed. Enjoy riding your bicycle. I'm gonna be in uh, Fort Miles. <laughs> It is good that you are here. Today, you will learn from the best. We have an emergency. Now, you do speak Japanese, right? Yes, sir. Open the door, please, and uh, start the engine. Thank you. Here you are. Let's go, go, go. Right. Hold. Thank you. So there's been an emergency at the coffee mill. The man we're going to see is refusing to speak English. Did I ask you if you spoke Japanese? Sir. Yes, y you did, sir. Hey! Out of the way! Ring the bell, boy. Emergency! I'm a doctor! Out of the way! What is he doing here? The message said the patient is only speaking Japanese, which this boy understands. I assume he has your trust, having treated your daughter. Well, follow me. It's my account. But just fix him. He means a lot to the company. How long has he been this way? 
About an hour or so. What's he saying, boy? What's he saying? He wishes to die. Fugu. Not for fish poison. It's an honorable suicide. Nonsense. They're going to save him. Look at here. Good boy. Hold him. Sir, shouldn't we use the charcoal to bind the poison? Right. Get me some. Steady now. Yes. Yes. If we can get him to vomit, sir. What do you think I was trying to do? This is some sort of crazy jack tradition. It's meant to avoid shame for the family. Coward's way out for a nip, if you ask me. <laughs> Read it. Troubled marriage, best not to pry. Go on. Off you go. Come. Find a new translator. That boy can't be trusted. I couldn't agree with you more. <laughs> great day. It's going to be great day. I don't think this is going to work. I hate to take dots past Pam. <laughs> Great. Great. Listen to me, okay? We've been through this before. This isn't about legal precedent. It's not about bureaucracy. This is about a boy who deserves a future. Your loyalty is admirable, Dr. Lawrence, but this is Please, impossible. Mr. Gray, please, make it happen. For dessert, my dear, we have your favorite mango pie with cream. This is a very special occasion. Today I talked with Dr. Reyes, and we had a very important conversation that concerns us all. Okay. The distinguished doctor has taken an interest in you, my dear. Quite flattering. He lost his wife to typhoid 10 years ago and has been seeking a replacement for some time. Thank you. 
A replacement? A replacement, yes. To be his wife. He's twice my age. You can't Dr. That Reyes I... is clearly a man of means and status. You'd be lucky to wed such a man, regardless of what his birth date is. Think I wanted to marry your grandfather? After the marriage, he plans to invest in the plantation. He has his own money. Family money, of course. Hmm. I'm sure he didn't need to become a doctor. No, he just wanted to serve his fellow man. An admirable quality. I'm off to Hilo tomorrow to inform the banks the doctor will be calling on you. He says he has a surprise for us all. Please be ready. A miracle. Oh. A miracle. A miracle? You think that selling your only daughter off is a miracle? Great. What a rude, ungrateful child. Whatever happens, Miss Grace, I'll be here with you. Dr. Reyes will be here soon. I got something for you. From the Valley Peak. It is the most beautiful place. The ocean is so blue and it goes on forever. I promise I'll take you there someday. Beautiful. <laughs> Do you know the story? Well, uh, two of them together make a whole flower. They're only by the sea and way up Malka. Never in between. They're named after a princess who fell in love with a commoner. And uh, for that, they were banished. One by the sea and one up the mountain. Finished. There's got to be a way we can shorten the distance between the mountain and the ocean. Joe. What's wrong? Father found a match for me. It's the new doctor. Dr. Reyes. The wedding's in two weeks. My grandmother's favorite picnic spot. He comes from a rich family in the mainland, and my father says that it might be the last opportunity that my family gets. Grace, Grace, get over here. Quick, to sit down. Ah. Good evening. Allow me to introduce you to my daughter, Helen. You must be Grace. Oh, I heard so much about you. Yes, here you are. Grace. 
Oh, would you like to sit down? <clears throat> Indeed. Help yourself. Mm, I will. You have a very beautiful home. Can't wait to move in. Relax, honey. We just got here. It's a lovely color on you. Right. Uh, who would like some coffee? Oh, I would love yes. some. Good idea, coffee. <laughs> mm. Mm -mm -mm. Thank you. Volcano's at it again. Yeah. Hmm. Danielson girl? Her father is going to marry her off to that rich Howie. Nothing I can do about it. It's like I don't even exist. You know, I'm sorry to hear that. But I wouldn't give up if I were you. No way. It's not what we had. If you're meant to be with Grace, it's gonna happen. Trust me. Tomorrow, tomorrow's wind will blow, and blow it did. On certain days, the trade winds would carry the volcanic gases to our side of the island. We call this white blanket, Vol. Duck and Joe were quite busy on these trying days. <coughs> these people should be home. They shouldn't be breathing this air. Look, if they, if they lose their crops, they lose their jobs. Kirio, get him up. Go to that. Keep it coming, Joe. It's peppermint oil. Breathe it in. mess if you taken better care of your wagon. I hate this one. Foggiest day of the year and I'm stuck up here with you. I'm gonna miss my train. I'm supposed to be in Hilo by tonight and I'm gonna miss my train. Go and get out of the way. Out of the way, Mr. Delsa! No! Oh. Oh. Mr. Delsa! Damn it! Damn it! No! No! Mr. Denosa! Mr. Denosa!
やにおさん大丈夫ですか行きたい大丈夫かここだここだここだ何があったんだあのあそ,あそこから落ちちゃったの。OK, OK, OK, I, I got it, I got it. All right, what happened? He fell from up there. I think his leg's broken. Leg I'm worried about. Mr. Danielson, where does your head hurt? <sighs> Some neural hematoma, that's my guess. Not good. Run, get Reyes. We're gonna need that contraption of his to get him out of here. Come on. Run. What's all the ruckus, boy? Mr. Danielson is injured. We need your motor car. I got this one, madame. Doesn't look significant. He indicated pain at the front of the skull, which is the opposite side of the head injury. Yes, but you're leaping to conclusions. Stop wasting time and help me move him to your motor car. Carefully. Let's go. Carefully. These people out of here. Nice and low. Gently. You, boy, give me my medical case now. If we don't relieve the pressure on the brain, we might lose him. No, 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 no. Compound fracture is first before he comes Absolutely to. Absolutely not. Craniotomy first. What? You're going to drill into the man's head. That's uh, primeval. I should say so. <laughs> Where's that damn idiot kid with my medical case? Thank you. No, not you. Don't touch me. Father, Mr. Danielson, I'm trying to please. help you. Please. I'm so sorry. Please have him go. You're the man. Please. Leave now. This man has every sign of swelling on the brain. Continued head pain, slurred speech. Look at his pupils for crying out loud. You will not bore a hole in his head. My son is in good hands with Dr. Reyes. That's right. I don't need a backwards country head. Hallelujah. Now get your things and get the hell out. Okay. I'll leave, but under professional protest. Let's go. Okay, let's move him up now. Let's go. Let's no, go. you shouldn't elevate his head. No! Oh. Out of here! You get out. Quack, get out! Quack, go, Joe. We'll be outside if you need us. We're fine now. Let's get to his leg.
What happened? Dr. Ryan said it was an internal injury. Lying fool. So sorry for your loss, madame. Only I'd been first to the scene. Not your fault, doctor. Well, I should give you some time alone with him. Sorry. Grace. Grace. You need to go inside now. Grace. We really must. Dr. Reyes, um, about the wedding. Yes. Well, I guess we should reschedule. Oh, heavens, no. I, I, I think we should make it even sooner now. We need a man about the house and someone to run the business. You are the light of good news in the midst of such dark sorrow. Hmm. Helen, Mrs. Danielson's asked to move up the wedding date. Grace will need your help now more than ever. Of course, Father. But I think there's something you both should see right now. Grace, we need to go inside now. What is going on out here? Grace, come inside. You're not well. I'm staying with Joe. Get your hands off her. Miss Danielson. My intentions are honorable. Honorable? Honorable. Get away from Dr. Reyes' fiance. You don't even have a last name. Now, just a second, Miss, Mrs. Danielson. Joe was trying Shut to do up. the right thing. This has nothing to do with you. I don't want to marry him. I want to be with Joe. You will never talk like that again. In front of your future husband, do you hear me? Oh, Seems you have some competition, Father. I'll take care of it. You just keep an eye on Grace. <laughs> I need to go to Hugo first thing in the morning, too. Converse with Ford about the back payments. We can't have our vehicle being repossessed on my wedding day. Oh. Do you actually care for this one, Father? It doesn't matter. No. Do you, um, do you think we could have saved him? Yes, I think so. I guess it doesn't matter now. It does matter. 
because you did good. You stayed cool and you stayed focused on the pressure. And I'm proud of you. You proved to me that you are ready to assist me. Grace lost her father. Can't let her lose you. Do whatever it takes. But you can't let that girl go. I mean, what chance do I really have? You heard what Mrs. Danielson said. I don't even have a last name. Mrs. Danielson. You can't allow Mrs. Danielson to define who you are. I'm an illegitimate bastard. That is not true. You're my son, maybe not legally, but you'll always be a better man than that pompous poser of a doctor. Believe that. Speak of the devil himself. What is that? Trying to prove now. Look out! Uh. <coughs> Doc. That's the only licensed doctor on this side of the island. My official report will conclude. This man was drunk. He fell, he hit his head on a rock. No witnesses. As you hope to live, you will leave this town, never to return. Or you will be next.
Even when months and days are long, life is short. We all mourn the death of Mr. Danielson and Doc in our own way. I love this place. Grace, when the good doctor arrives, please be cheerful. You do remember how to be cheerful, don't you? Of course she does. So you're the elusive Joe. Charles Gray, attorney at law. Trust me when I say this is a miracle. Miss Hannah Busset, please go check on the flowers. I will tend to her.
father's motor car should arrive any minute now. There he is. Remember what your grandmother said. Remember to smile. There is someone else is coming. What do you mean someone else is coming? You, you, you ruined all this. Grandmother, you! What right have you to even be here? Who the hell do you think you are? Joe Lawrence. I'm the legally adopted son of Dr. Elias Lawrence. Mm. Mrs. Danielson, please. Mrs. Danielson, I have a name. And I am of legal standing. I've come here today to ask for your hand. Even though Joe is now entitled, Ms. Danielson has not yet come of age to be married. Consent from a legal guardian is required. Yeah. Consent is given. As her acting legal guardian, looking after her best interest. I accept the proposal on behalf of Miss Chris. You do no such thing. That is if she wishes to accept. No. No. She's mine. The house and the plantation are mine. We would have been married, sweetheart. We had an agreement. Yeah, Danielson. The Danielson family is, I'm sorry to say, bankrupt. What? What are you looking at me for? All that remains is the house, and that is in Grace's name. Grace's name? Grace's name? You charlatans! Bankruptcy! Bankruptcy! Father. Bankruptcy! Father! Laugh, Father. Chap, Father! Father! <laughs> You're all a bunch of nip lovers, Father. aren't you? Don't you see it? 
The Japs are taking over! Father! Father! There is nothing here for us. Fall down seven times, stand up eight. The bank did foreclose. The town and the plantation were subdivided and auctioned off. And the so-called Dr. Reyes was arrested for murder. Our town got a new clinic and a new doctor. And I I remain in the service of the young doctor and his wonderful wife for many good years. <laughs>